What's up, everybody? Wow, breaking news. Joss Whedon has spoken out about the allegations against him from Ray Fisher and other members of the Justice League cast. As many of us know by now, Joss Whedon has kind of become something of a villain in the DC community for what he did to Zack Snyder's movie Justice League and allegedly how he treated the actors on set and there's been a lot of testimony against him so naturally it would be pretty intriguing to hear his side of the story. With everything he's been accused of, he sounds like kind of a jackass but I am intrigued to hear what he has to say on the subject and whether or not it will change the overall outlook of who Joss Whedon truly is. And just a reminder, these videos are made possible by my supporters on this platform, so if you do want to support me, be sure to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. And be sure to check out the Patreon link in the description below. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time he's actually spoken out about the Justice League filming experience. So Whedon started off by saying that the Justice League cast were some of the rudest people he'd ever worked with. All right, good start, acting like a victim. That's, that, that's gonna, that's gonna do it. That's, that's gonna win you all the goodwill in the world. He also said that he resents Snyder fans for kind of turning the entire internet against him. And he kind of said there's a symmetry in how the early internet built him up and the modern internet tore him down. Okay, yep, that, that is, that is pretentious in true Whedon fashion. I kind of feel like though, when you molest a director's movie in the way that Joss Whedon did, I feel like the Zack Snyder fans, or just people that like movies that are, you know, not Joss Whedon's disastrous Justice League recut, they got every right to speak out. I have kind of questioned how much control did Joss Whedon have? Well, in the way he's addressed some of the allegations against him, we actually have some details. Yes, it was him who decided to cut Ray Fish's role down. And the reasons that Joss Whedon gave were that A, Ray Fish is a bad actor, and his performance was flat, and B, that the story made no sense. Now, if he had said this prior to the release of the Snyder Cut, I'd think, you're kind of a jackass for saying that publicly, but okay, maybe that's how you feel about it. M maybe it didn't make a lot of sense, maybe it did need a recut. But I've seen the Snyder Cut. The world has seen the Snyder Cut, and I think that Ray Fisher's performance was pretty universally praised. Sorry Whedon, I know you've got industry experience and all, more than I have, but if you think that Ray Fisher's performance in that movie was bad, then you don't know what a bad performance is. What a great way to address the claims. W what a brilliant stance to take. But also, I can confirm that Cyborg's storyline made as much sense as you would expect a superhero movie storyline to make. So yes, had you said this before the film was released, before the Snyder Cut was released, I would have said, fuck you, Whedon. But now that the Snyder Cut is out, I'm saying, are you fucking insane? Have you lost your mind? Are you dense? The delusion is strong with this one. Now, there was also the claims that Ray Fisher's skin tone was lightened up in post as well. Whedon's response was that he brightened up the entire movie. Well, boy, does that ever explain why the theatrical cut looks like shit. What a great eye you have. You might not like the somewhat muted palette of Zack Snyder's movies or Fabian Wagner's cinematography on this one, but those muted colors sure as hell look better than artificially brightened up shots that were not intended to look like this. Joss Whedon, are you a fucking amateur? Then there were the Gal Gadot allegations, where a witness said, that Joss Whedon was being threatening towards Gal Gadot. Gadot would go on to verify this. So no, the claims do not come from Gal Gadot herself, but a witness. But Joss Whedon's explanation was that English isn't Gal Gadot's first language, so she misunderstood him. Do you have any idea how patronizing it is to basically dismiss a person whose first language isn't English to, to, to dispute their claims based on their first language not being English? Gal Gadot clearly has some grasp of the English language, so to assume it was misunderstood just based on a language barrier? There's no filmmaker politics there, that's just being a decent fucking human being towards people whose first language isn't English. Apparently, this was in response to Gal Gadot asking him to cut out a specific scene, and I think we can all guess which one it is, but I don't want to assume stuff. Whedon says what he said was that if Gal Gadot wants him to remove that scene, she'll have to tie him down to a railroad. And that she misinterpreted this as he's gonna tie her down to a railroad. When that wasn't even remotely the claim. 
But it's like, yeah, you're, you're talking about the Justice League allegations, but are we not forgetting all of the allegations from the cast members of the Buffy series and Angel? Sorry, Joss Whedon, but the testimonies stack up against you. And from my perspective anyway, the way he's reacted to this has really only further validated those accusations. Which means that in this court of public opinion, Joss Whedon is a certified fuckhead. There you have it, folks. I, I don't see how anyone can side with him at this point because he's just shown no decency throughout this entire process. He's acting like a little fucking victim while clearly trying to gaslight the situation and saying things that anyone can easily dispute. Fuck you, Joss Whedon. The world doesn't need any more people like you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Actually, maybe do because looking at you, I think the door's the only thing that would ever want to hit that. So what do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video and you want to support more like it, be sure to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. And of course, in the description below are links to different social media feeds, including the Patreon. If you're feeling extra generous, like the following people, who are JK Strife, Marcus Ward, Cirrus the Skeptic, Biotin Arts, Mr. SP, David 20 Covers, Sergio, George is Lost, Legendary Ray Ray, Cheese Master 769, Adam Myers, and Fayalan Schwarzenkraub. Thank you guys, you are the best of the best, but as for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching guys, and have a great day.